Oh. On the air, Sled Dog. This is the television game in which daring determines the fate of the player. This is the game of strategy, luck, and knowledge. This is Bullseye. And now, here's your host, the man who only aims for the Bullseye, Randy Crippen. Hey, guys. Welcome to season. Thank you, audience. Thank you. Got a nice audience here. Welcome to uh, Million Dollar Bullseye. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it right now. Well, Justin managed to win three games and a total of $6,800. Justin, how do you feel? Awesome. Well, we're not going to waste any time because I do owe you a bonus game. And I'm not going to host it. I'm just going to be running... The controls. We're gonna give this to my co-host Brody Young. Thank you, Rodney. Now, Justin, are you ready to go into the bonus and win? Try to win two million dollars. Stand by, y'all. Stand by. Hold up. Hold two. Uh oh. Cut. No. I got it. I'll, I'm going to fix it. Keep it going. Keep keep it going. Keep talking. Keep it going. All right. All right. Now, Justin, are you ready to stay away from the, from the lightning? Because it struck you twice that last time. Are you ready to make a redemption for yourself? Ready. Then come over here. Let's do the bonus island. <laughs> The swirls that you see that are spinning around have different cash amounts, ranging from $1,000 to $3,000. But, time one of those swirls is that, is that shock of a lifetime, the lightning. <laughs> if he lands on that, if he lands on that, he'll lose everything in the bonus on it, but not the $6,800, because that's yours to keep. Now, if you manage to get bullseye, a uh, bullseye, in, uh, three bullseyes in, in any one of your spins, we'll double the money that's in the jackpot uh, at after $1,000. But, and uh, there's two ways, there's another way. If you can avoid the lightning for 10 spins, we'll give you a million dollars. But, if you manage to get three bullseyes in one single spin, We'll give it two million dollars! Alright. The lightning will spark some problems. <laughs> you can also take the money if you want to. You can stop at any time and take the money at total. With all that said and done, tell Brandy when to stop the board and we'll get started. Ready? Stop the now! Here we go! One thousand dollars! Bullseye! And one thousand dollars! You can take that two thousand dollars and stop right now, cause you have a bullseye, and that lightning could be behind that bullseye, but we don't know that. Let me give you a chance to offer two thousand dollars to quit right now. Go. Here we go. Spin number two. Stop it. Here we go. Three thousand dollars and a bullseye. There you go. You got five thousand dollars. You have two bullseyes now, and you uh, you have a good chance of of of, of getting that one million dollars. If you get you have a good chance of doubling that five thousand dollars. Do you want to take that five thousand dollars stop, or do you want to keep going? Going. Here we go. Stop. Here we go. And two thousand dollars, seven thousand dollars. Now, lightning could be behind behind. One of those two windows, but we don't know that. Seven thousand dollars to stop right now, or keep going. Going. Here we go. Stop. Here we go. And two thousand dollars again. Nine thousand dollars. Same options apply. Take the nine thousand dollars and stop, or keep going. Going. Here we go. Stop. Here we go. And two thousand dollars again. Eleven. 
the eleven thousand dollars and quit right now, or go for your six big. I'm feeling lucky. Go on. He's gonna go for it. Here we go. Best of luck. Stop. Here we go. You did it. Yeah, you did it. Good job. One double the thousand dollars. You now have one hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars. Now you have one hundred twenty-two thousand dollars. Do you want to take that money right now, or the Billy Derry will unlock all the wheels and go, and you can go for your seventh spin. But remember, you hit lightning, you'll lose that hundred twenty-two thousand dollars. What should they do, audience? Take the cash. I'm gonna take the money. All right. Stop. Awesome stuff. It. Give him a hand for that. Good job. We're gonna add the six the six thousand eight hundred dollars to your total. That brings you your total, your grand total up to. Let me add the six thousand eight hundred dollars to its total here. Are you can say it. All right, that brings you your total up to one hundred and twenty-eight thousand eight hundred dollars. Now, that's the pretty thing. What do you think the lightning was? I think I was. I was fine up on top left. Alright, you think it was the top left? Let's find out where that lightning was. Oh, he was <laughs> safe the whole time! He was safe, you always safe the whole time! Now, we're gonna take a commercial break, pay off some bills, and when we come back, we'll introduce Justin's new challenger! Stay right there! Good job, Brody! Good job, Justin! <laughs> Alright guys, we're back on that commercial break. Well, that was an awesome finish for Justin. He has a total of $128,800. And he's going to play against this opponent. And that opponent is, with three wins and $156,100 in cash, Ian Smith. Not Ian what? Smith, AJ Richards. AJ. Oh, AJ Richards, sorry. Yeah, AJ oh, Richards. Boy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, that's sorry. okay. Yeah. That's okay. How you feeling, AJ? I'm feeling good. You won that million dollars in two spins the last time. Yep. Are you nervous? Total of one million three thousand two hundred dollars. Yep. Are you ready to go? Yes, sir. All right. Here are the categories. Well, let me first explain the rules of the game. Seems like it's so so long since we got here, but let me explain the rules. Your object is to bank $2,000 before your opponent. If you manage to bank $2,000 first before your opponent, you win the game and you'll go under the bonus island for $1 million or maybe $2 million, okay? Now, um, the categories, here's the categories are in the windows. The categories in the left window are, we have Famous Adventures, the card game, horror movies, U.S. Presidents, True or False, and in the right window, we have 50 States, the card game, NASCAR, movie villains, and game shows. And in the bottom window, that's the number of questions you have to answer before you complete the contract. Now, if you see the bullseye, like so, that means you can answer as many questions as you would like, but you can also stop whenever you like. Okay, and like I said before, the first Player to get to two thousand dollars will win the game. Okay. All right, Justin. I will start the reels, and you tell me when you're ready to stop them. Good luck to both of you. Here we go. Stop. Here we go. We have famous adventures for four hundred dollars. Movie villains for two hundred dollars, and the contract is four questions. Okay. Which category you want, Justin? Inventions. Well, famous inventions, okay. And this contract is worth a big $1,600, but you can collect that after you answer the questions. I'm going to roll the die like so, and to determine your question, you tell me when. Now. We have question two. Okay, and the subject is writing, okay? Writing. And it's a true or false, so if you miss this question, it will automatically go to AJ and we'll add the money to the pot, okay? All right, here's a question, uh, Justin. The first known typewriter invented in... Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 O
excuse me, forgive me. The first known typewriter invented in 1808 was made to help blind people write. Is that statement true or false? False. No, it was true. It was true. So that means, AJ, you get it by default. All right. Wait, I to help blind people write. Yeah. All right, so, AJ, tell me when you want me to roll it. Let's roll. Okay. We have two again. Three questions left in the contract. We have $400 in the pot. And this time we're going to talk about the telephone, okay? The telephone. Right. Call me on the telephone. Oh, gosh. Now, here's your question. Who patented it? Yeah. Drive. Right. Who patented the telephone, um, AJ? Is it A, Alexander Graham Bell, B, Samuel Morse, or C, Thomas Edison? Alexander Graham Bell. That's right. Good job. Okay, we have two questions to go in a, before you complete the contract. Tell me when, AJ. Let's roll. We have a three this time. And the next subject is photography. Photography, okay? When was the first photograph created? Was it in the 1700s? The 1800s or the 1900s? 1700s. 1700s, the 1900s. 1700s is wrong. Ah. Right, Justin, you can take back control. When was the first photograph created? Was it the 1800s or the 1900s? 1900s? No, it was the 1800s. The 1800s. Ah. So, no harm, no foul. AJ gets control again. Tell me when you want me to roll it. Let's roll. We have a one this time. And your question is about plastic. Plastic. And it's a true or false, so if you miss it, AJ, um, it automatically goes to Justin, okay? All right. The biggest problem with plastic is that it can't be formed easily into different shapes. Is that statement true or false? I believe that's false. Right, it can be. That's ridiculous, ain't it? All right, you have twelve hundred dollars. Ridiculous, but yep. it's true. Yep, you have twelve hundred dollars in the pot. One more question to complete the contract, AJ. Let me know when you want me to roll it. Let's roll. I think it's also back on the environment. Yeah, three, three, and we're gonna do printing this time. Printing, okay? And this is to complete right. the contract. Before printing, how were books made, AJ? Um, uh, were they invented by the uh, the Greeks with using papyrus? Say that again. The Greeks using papyrus. I need a judgment, guys. I won't say the answer because I don't want to give it away. Can somebody look that up? Somebody? Anybody on the call can look it up. Let's say look right up. Huh? Look right up. Yeah. Um, before printing began, how many how were the books made? And I just wanna know, don't say the answer, just let me know. Is it an acceptable answer? Is how it bugs made? Yeah. Man, this silence is nerve wracking. Oh, yeah. private message you the results. Okay, the, let me look the at results. these. All right, let me look in the private messenger. Stand by, y'all. I have to, uh... I'm going to have to stop the video. How do I stop the video? I'm going to have to pause it. So I can look at it.
This computer is so slow. I can't pull it up here. It's loading very slow today. Shoot. Brings me a good opportunity to quote this. Move faster, Pokey! <laughs> This is running very slow. You know what? I got another idea. Okay, AJ. That was an, yeah. that's an acceptable answer. That's an accept, it's an acceptable answer. You complete the contract. Let me fix that. Really? Yes, it's an acceptable answer. Cause my card says, it, nice job. my card said it was written by hand, but you said written by pro, papyrus and that's more information that we needed. So that's a good answer. Good job, AJ. Now you have a decision to make. There's $1,600 in the pot. You can bank that money. It'll be yours to keep. But if you do bank the money, control goes to Justin. Or you can uh, risk, leave the money in the bank and risk it and go under a new contract. What do you like to do, AJ? Um, I'll risk it and go for a new contract. Good luck to you. Okay. We're going to uh, cover the board and tell me when you want me to stop the information. Stop. We have U.S. Presidents for $300. Game shows for $300. And the contract is for questions. Okay. Which one would you like to go to, AJ? U.S. Presidents, please. Well, go on U.S. Presidents. Okay. And whoever completes this contract here will win the game here because there will be more than $2,000 in the pot. It will be $2,800 in there. First question to you, AJ, on U.S. Presidents. Serving as the 30th president of the United States, who once stated, I feel I no longer, f I feel I no longer fit in with these times. I repeat again, serving as the 30th president of the United States, who once stated, I feel I no longer fit in with these times. Is it A, Richard Nixon, B, George Bush, C, Gerald Ford, or D, Calvin Coolidge? Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon is wrong. I'm sorry. All right, Justin, you can take over. Serving as the 30th president of the United States, who once stated, I feel I no longer fit in with these times. Is it uh, B, George Bush, C, Gerald Ford, or D, Calvin Coolidge? Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford is wrong. I'm sorry. The answer is Calvin Coolidge. Calvin Coolidge. All right, we go on to another question, AJ. Still four questions to go to complete the contract. All right. Which U.S. president served as the head of the U.S. Food Administration? Is it A, Herbert Hoover, B, Theodore Roosevelt, C, Woodrow Wilson, or D, William Howard Taft? Can you repeat the question, please? Yes. Which U.S. president served as the head of the U.S. Food Administration? Is it A, Herbert Hoover, B, Theodore Roosevelt, C, Woodrow Wilson, or D, William Howard Taft? 15 seconds. William Howard Taft. William Howard Taft is wrong. All right, Justin, you can take over. Which U.S. president served as the head of the U.S. Food Administration? Is it A, Herbert Hoover, B, Theodore Roosevelt, or C, Woodrow Wilson? Uh, C. Woodrow Wilson is wrong. It's Herbert Hoover. Herbert Hoover. All right, we still need four questions. Next question, um, um, AJ. Which president was shot by Charles Julius Guto on July 2nd, 1881? Is it A, Richard, excuse me. Is it A, Ronald Reagan, B, Richard Nixon, C, John F. Kennedy, or D, James A. Garfield? James A. Garfield. That is the right answer. Good job. There we go. 
Alright, we have three more questions to go in order to win the game. There's $1,900 in the pot. Next question. Which U.S. president led the Union Army to a victory in the Battle of Shiloh? Can you hear that? Yeah. Is it A, John Adams, B, Ulysses S. Grant, C, Herbert Hoover, or D, George Washington? Ulysses S. Grant. That is right. Good job. All right, AJ, two questions to go in order to win the game. Who was the last president who was not affiliated with either the Republicans or the Democrats? Is it A, Miller Fillmore, B, William McKinley, C, Abraham Lincoln, or D, Theodore Roosevelt? Miller Fillmore. Miller Fillmore is right. That's a tough question. Good job. All right, if you get this question right, AJ, you'll win the game with $2,800, and your winnings will be at $1,006,000. Miss the question, and if Justin gets it right, he'll win his fourth game. All right, here's your question. Serving from March 4th, 1853 to March 4th, 1857, which U.S. president was married to June... I repeat again, I'm sorry. Serving from March 4th, 1853 to March 4th, 1857, which U.S. president was married to Jane Appleton? Is it A, Woodrow Wilson, B, John Adams, C, James Madison, or D, Franklin Pierce? Franklin Pierce. You have won your game! Good job! That's nicely done, AJ. So, $2,800 go to you, so you're at $1,006,000, and you're going to go ahead to the bonus island in a second. Well, uh, Justin, you had a good run there. You have $128,800, also $2,000 of side chains because of the mistake I made, and uh, we'll see, we'll have you for another game, man, okay? We're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll do bonus island again for a million dollars. We'll be right back after this. We are back here on Bullseye with AJ Richards. Are you ready to go for the bonus island? Sure am, Brody. Hey, come on over here. Let's do this. All right, you know how the bonus island works. Let's go ahead and get right to it. When I tell Bunny to stop those swirls. Let's stop. Here we go. Bullseye! But that's how the game is unfair. That is how that's the how game goes. Go. Well, but you know. Don't worry, but don't worry, AJ. We don't touch that one million six thousand dollars. Is that yours to keep? Oh man, that happened so fast. Yeah, one spin. We wish it was the other way around. So right now, I'm just. I, I've never seen luck that bad. Well, wow. Thousand dollars. Yeah. Now, who, yeah. Who did you? Anyways, th that was anyways, a we're going to take a commercial break. We're actually we're coming from that lightning strike. Actually, we're not because we, we actually we're not. Can we do? I got to go bathroom. Oh, okay, oh. we can take a commercial break. Okay, we'll be right back after this, y'all. Yeah. Don't go away, folks. Well, guys, we're back with Bullseye. That was a quick bonus round. That was bad luck, but... Maybe we can resolve this. Maybe we'll, AJ will win this game and get back over there to try to win um, Bonus Island. But he has to face this opponent. Who is it, um, 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 Brody? Well, with one win and twenty eight hundred dollars, it's close, Barber. My brother Lucas may face Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Klaus, welcome to the show. You have two thousand eight hundred dollars so far up to this point. Are you ready to earn more cash? That's it. All right. Now, guys, in case if the bell goes off before we finish this game, that means we'll do 
the bonus island in the next episode, okay? Y'all guys ready? Yep. All right, here are the categories we'll be doing in this game, and they are the following. We have Famous Inventions still, Soccer, Books of the Bible, Funny Games in the left window, and in the right window we have, we have the 50 States, Basketball, TV shows, and general science. We're going to skip all that jazz. And AJ, whenever you're ready, tell me when you want me to stop the reels. Stop. Here we go. We have fun and games for $100. General science for $300. And the contract is one question. Only one question. Guess all those glitters aren't gold. Yeah. Well, which one you want to go with, AJ? Fun games for a hundred, please. Going with a hundred dollars for fun and games, and obviously the contract is worth one hundred dollars. Here's your question: Which of the following items does the video game character Don? Let me try again. Which of the following items does the video game character Donkey Kong use as a weapon? Is it A barrels, B ladders, C balls, or D gun? Uh, B choices. A barrels, B ladders, C balls, or D gun? Gun. Gun is wrong. Oh, oh my god, dude. Alright, Klaus, I offer you the question. Which of the following items does the video game character Donkey Kong use as a weapon? Is it A barrels? It's, gonna... it's barrels. <laughs> barrels is correct, and you complete the contract. Alright, Klaus. Oh, the question. Yeah, I'm sorry, AJ. Well, Kraus, there is $100 in the pot. You can bank that $100. It'll be your money and control goes back to AJ. Or, if you want to, you can risk that $100 and go for a new contract. What do you want to do, Kraus? I'm going to need to let go into the contract. All right, I didn't think you would, would bank $100 anyway. That's kind of low. Okay, uh... Let me know. I'm going to start the reels and let me know when you want me to stop them, okay? Stop. Books of the Bible for $100. 50 states for $100. And the contract is three questions. Okay, which one you want to go with, Klaus? Eh, they're both the same, Books of the Bible. You're going with Books of the Bible? Okay. So now this contract is worth $300, okay? Here's questions on books of the Bible. What book closes with the words, In that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of the Lord of hosts? Is it A, Ezekiel, B, Daniel, C, Micah, or D, Zechariah? Are the options? A, Ezekiel, B, Daniel, C, Micah, or D, Zechariah? Daniel. Daniel is wrong. I right, AJ, your question. What book closes with the words, In that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of the Lord of hosts? Is it A, Ezekiel, B, Micah, or D, Zechariah? Micah. Micah is wrong. I'm sorry. The answer was Zechariah on that, on that one. Zechariah. You can find that scripture on Zechariah, the 14th chapter, verse 21, okay? All right, still three questions to go in order to complete the contract for the Bible. Your question, um, Klaus, name the fourth book of the Old Testament. The fourth book of the Old Testament. Is it A, Joshua, B, Leviticus, C, Deuteronomy, or D, Numbers? I think that was Joshua. Joshua is wrong. All right, to you, uh, uh, um... AJ, the fourth book of the Bible is what? Is it A, Leviticus, excuse me, forgive me, B, Leviticus, C, Deuteronomy, or D, Numbers? Deuteronomy? Deuteronomy is wrong. I'm sorry. Was it Numbers? Uh, Leviticus? It was Numbers. It was Numbers, yep, Numbers. So, control, oh, go, okay. control go back to Klaus. Still three questions to go in order to complete the contract. What book opens? What book opened with the words? Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land. Is it A. Ruth, 
B. Judges, C. Joshua, or D. Job? What was the question? What book opens with the words, now it came to pass, now it came to pass, and the... I'm going to stop the clock until the noise come down. All right. I'll repeat the question for you. What book opens with the words, now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land? Is it A, Ruth, B, Judges, C, Joshua, or D, Job? Job. Job is wrong. All right, AJ, back to you. What book opens with the words, now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land? Is it A, Ruth, B, Judges, or C, Joshua? Ruth. There you go, AJ. It is Ruth. That's right. All right, two questions to go. Yes. Two questions to go in order to complete the contract. What book opens with the words, the former treatise have I made, O Theolopius? Let me try again. What book opens with the words, the former treatise have I made, O Theophilius? Is it A, Acts? B. John, C. Luke, or D. Romans? Romans? Romans is wrong. All right, back to you, um, Klaus. What book opens with the words, the former treatise have I made, O. Theophilus? Is it A. Acts, B. John, or C. Luke? John. John is wrong. Was it Luke? It's Acts. 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 Oh. We have two questions to go. Please mute your mic until you blow your nose. All right. Thank you. All right. Your question, AJ. Which of the following is not a book found in the Old Testament? It's not a book found in the Old Testament. Is it A, Habakkuk, B, Hosea, C, Joshua, or D, Zedekiah? Joshua. Joshua is found in the Old Testament. That's wrong. <laughs> Who's blowing their nose? I'm sorry. I thought I needed. Oh, that's Klaus. I thought I needed. Okay. All right. All right. Your question, Klaus. Um, which of the um uh following is not a book found in the Old Testament? Is it A. Habakkuk? B. Hosea or D. Zedekiah? What was the question? Which of the following books is not a book found in the Old Testament? Is it A. Habakkuk, B. Hosea, or D. Zedekiah or Zedekiah? That's how you pronounce it, Zedekiah. That would be uh, D. As in? Uh, however it's pronounced. You said, which letter did you say? D. D as in dog? Yeah. Zedekiah is correct. Good job. That's hard to say. Yeah. All right. We have one more to go in order to win or in order to complete the contract, Klaus. Your next one. What book opened with the words, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God? Is it A, Matthew, B, Mark, C, Luke, or D, John? I'm sorry, one more time. What book opened with the word, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God? Is it A, Matthew, B, Mark, C, Luke, or D, John? 15 seconds. Matthew. Matthew is wrong. All right, AJ, you could complete the contract. What book opens with the words, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God? Is it B, Mark, C, Luke, or D, John? Mark? Mark is wrong. Was it John? It was John, yeah. You can find that of a uh, scripture in John 1, verse 1. So, uh, we still need um, uh, one question to go in order to finish this contract. It goes to uh, Klaus. Alright, where can the following words be found? Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Is it A, Deuteronomy, 
B. Ezekiel, C. Daniel, or D. Malachi? The options one more time. A. Deuteronomy, B. Ezekiel, C. Daniel, or D. Malachi? A. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is wrong. All right, back to you, AJ. Where can the following words be found? Behold, O oh my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Is it B, Ezekiel, C, Daniel, or D, Malachi? Daniel. Daniel is wrong. Is that Malachi? It is Malachi, yes. Mal you can find, no, excuse me, it's not Malachi, I'm sorry. It's not Malachi, it's Ezekiel, Ezekiel. You can find that scripture in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, verse 12, okay? All right, we're still waiting for that one question here. I think this shows you how many people read the Bible. Yeah, yeah, it's a great book. All right, here's your question on the Bible, uh, Klaus. Where can the following verse be found? This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Is it A, 2 Peter, B, 1 Timothy, C, 1 Thessalonians, or D, 2 Timothy? It sounds like a 2 Peter thing. 2 Peter is wrong. All right, back to you, uh, uh, AJ. Where can the following verse be found? This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Is it A, 1 Timothy, C, 1 Thessalonians, or D, 2 Timothy? 1 Thessalonians? No. No, that's wrong. Is <laughs> it First Timothy? It's Second Timothy. Second Timothy. And you can find that. Oh. You can find that verse in Second Timothy three one. Okay, let's stick with this category until it's answered. Here's your next one. Where can the following words be found? The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. Uh, Klaus, is it A Isaiah, B Proverbs? C, Psalms, or D, Ecclesiastics? I'm going to go with Proverbs. Proverbs is wrong. Okay, back to you, AJ. Where can the following words be found? The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. Is it A, Isaiah, C, Psalms, or D, Ecclesiastics? Psalms. Psalms is wrong. It's Ecclesiastics. It's Ecclesiastics. Ecclesiastics. Oh. The yes. first chapter, verse 1. The first chapter, verse 8. All right. Still one question to go in order to complete the contract. Now, what book comes next after Judges, Klaus? Is it A, Joshua, B, Ruth, C, 1 Samuel, or D, Ezra? What was the question? What book comes after Judges? Is it A, Joshua, B, Ruth, C, 1 Samuel, or D, Ezra? 1 Samuel. First Samuel is wrong. All right, AJ, what book comes after Judges? Is it A, Joshua, B, Ruth, or D, Ezra? Ruth. Thank God that's right. You completed the contract. <laughs> we got there. Someone finally does it. Yeah. All right. Really? All right, AJ. It's been a while. Yeah. All right, AJ, there's $400 in the pot. Now you can bank the money, it'll be your money, or if you want to be daring, you can uh, leave the money in there and risk it for another contract. But if you do bank the money, control goes back to Klaus. What do you want to do? New contract. Going for a new contract. Leaving the $400 in there, okay? I'll start it. Let me know when you want me to stop it. Stop. Here we go. Famous Inventions, $200. Basketball for four hundred dollars, and the contract is one question. Where you want to go, AJ? Basketball. They're making y'all work for this one. All right, the contract is for four hundred dollars, AJ. Here's your question on basketball. What basketball player with a Superman tattoo could could cut? Let me try again. What basketball player with a Superman tattoo could catch bad guys himself? as a reserve officer with the LA, po LA Port Police. I repeat it again. What basketball player with a Superman tattoo could catch bad guys himself as a reserve officer with the LA Port Police? Is it A, Shaquille O'Neal, B, Kobe Bryant, C, Grant Hill, or D, Tim Duncan? Uh, 
Shaquille O'Neal. You completed the contract. Nicely done. And incidentally, time has run out, so whoever wins this game will go to the bonus island on tomorrow, okay? Now, AJ, there's $800 in the pot. Now, you can bank that money, and it'll be yours to keep, but control will go back to Klaus, or you can leave the money in there and risk it for a new contract. What do you want to do, AJ? Let's go for a new contract. He's leaving it in there. Okay, good luck to you, AJ. Let me know when you want me to stop the reels. Here we go. We have Famous Inventions, $300. 50 states for $400. And the contract is four questions. That's more like it now. And they're both card games, incidentally. Which one you want to go with? 50 states, please. All right. And incidentally, whoever completes this contract will win this game because there's more than $2,000 in the pot. And somebody will win $2,400, okay? I'm going to roll the die. Let me know when you want me to roll it. Let's roll. It's question two. Question two. And we're going to be dealing with the state of Vermont. Vermont, okay? And it's a true or false, so if you miss this one, it automatically goes to um, Klaus, and um, he'll have control, okay? All right. But Vermont is the largest producer of natural maple syrup in the United States. Is that statement true or false? That'd be false. I'm sorry, it is true. So it goes to Klaus automatically. We have $1,200 in the pot. Three more questions to go in order to win the game. Klaus, let me know when you want me to roll it. Roll it. We have one, question one, and now we're dealing with New Hampshire, Klaus. New Hampshire, let me refocus, refocus camera. The state is New Hampshire, and another true or false, okay? New Hampshire was the first colony to declare its independence from England in 1776. Is that statement true or false? New yeah, Hampshire. Sure. True. It is true. Good job. Hi, right, Klaus. Two more questions to go in order to win the game. Tell me when you want me to roll the die again. It's roll like spindle. <laughs> Very nice. Three. Hello? Three. Okay, and the the state is Kansas now. Kansas. Okay, Klaus. Let me re. It's Kansas. And it's a fill in the blank, okay? Complete the lyrics to the official state song of Kansas. Well, seldom is heard a discouraging... Let me try again. Complete the lyrics to the official state song, Kansas. Well, seldom... Where seldom is heard a discouraging word and the skies are what? I haven't even heard that one before. I don't know. No, yeah. no idea, so we're going to give it to AJ. Again, complete the lyrics, AJ, to the official state song of Kansas. Where, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are what? The song is Home on the Range. Right. So, so it's um, Sunny All Day? No, it's not Sunny All Day. I need it exact. I'm sorry. The answer is not Cloudy All Day. Not cloudy oh, all not day. Um, yeah, not cloudy all day. Okay, still two questions to go. In order for somebody to win the game, uh, Klaus, let me know. Wrong. We have question three on that one. And this time we're dealing with national parks. National parks. Okay, your question. Located in North Carolina and Tennessee, what is the most visited national park in the United States? I have no 
no idea, so I'm just gonna guess, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna guess Yellowstone. Yellowstone is wrong. Okay, AJ, located in North Carolina and Tennessee, where is the most visited national park in the United States? Yosemite. Yosemite is wrong. The answer is Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Oh. Okay. That's okay. I got that wrong out of lack of attention. Yeah. All right, still two questions to go in order for somebody to win the game. Tell me when you want me to roll it, Klaus. A good roll, we have a two, a two, and we're dealing with the state of Missouri this time. Missouri, oh, let me try again, Missouri. Okay, your question, what, and this is a 50-50 a question, so if you missed this one, it automatically goes back to AJ, okay? Was Missouri a Confederate state during the Civil War? No, you're right. No, is it? That's right. All right, we have one question to go in order for you to complete the contract, get it right, um, Kraus, and you'll win the game with twenty four hundred dollars, and your winnings will be at five thousand two hundred dollars. Miss the question, and if um, if AJ gets the question right, he will win the game. Tell me when to roll it. Oh. We have three. Okay. And this is placing states in order. You have to place these states in order, okay? Listen very carefully. I'm going to read you these states. You have to place the states that are in order that, of the entry of the Union, the order that they first entered into the United States, okay? We have California, Colorado, and Connecticut. Give me the order. California. Incorrect. Incorrect. That's wrong. All right, um, AJ, you can win the game. Give me the order of the entry into the Union. The states are California, Colorado, and Connecticut. Excuse me, and Connecticut. Give me the order. Connecticut? Yes. California? Yes. And Colorado? You win the game, AJ. Good job. That's what you for thinking aloud. All right, so that's your, uh, that is your third win, AJ. So that takes your winnings up to one million eight thousand four. Yeah, one million eight thousand four hundred dollars, and you're gonna play the bonus island when we do our episode on tomorrow. On tomorrow, first thing, okay, AJ? Okay. And Klaus, you still have your twenty eight hundred dollars in our congratulations. Did everybody on the call have a good time? Yep. Sure did. All right, we're going to end the show right here quickly. We're a little over time. So this is Rodney1279 and my co-host Brody Young saying be safe, be careful, and whatever you do in our life, make sure that you hit the bullseye. See you guys later. Goodbye. Let's do the closing. Uh, and be sure to check out Let's See Dragon for the second Genesis. It's an amazing game. Yes. Here we go. We
Thank you, uh, Brody. See y'all tomorrow.